Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. How you doing today? We are back playing some Star Ocean 2R. It's been a while, actually. Turn this up so I can hear it a little bit there. So I got it super quiet on my end. So let me know how the audio sounds with you guys. Uh, if I'm coming out clearly or not. If my model says you're working, we're looking good. Yeah. Looks like we started out pretty well, so can't hear the game at all. Okay, one sec. Can't hear the game at all. All right, let me see. What that's about. I can hear the ayaya. Ay, ay. Can you hear the ayaya? Ay, ay? Okay. What about now? Good. Okay. So luckily that was an easy fix to figure out. I'm trying just to give you the full rundown. I'm trying something a little different here. Uh, because the audio is so hard to balance and my voice in the game, I am trying for the recording section of this to separate the audio from the game uh, from the game from myself. So that way I can adjust it better for better audio. But also I'll do my best in game. Let me know if the audio is too bad. Maybe too loud. Maybe because the music is epic. The music is epic. I will give you that. Okay. So what the heck are we doing last? Let, let's start with that because I genuinely don't know. That's that. That's that. I feel like... Oh, right. We... Okay, we did it. Nice. <laughs> that works. Uh, let's see here. So we're done here, but we did the thing we are looking for. Let's talk about the mini map. Guide map. That's the button I was looking for. Let's go. Okay, so we have a few things to look at here. Uh, go to Liquor Castle is the next thing. But these are limited events, so let's make sure we take care of these. Let's clear some of our backlog of stuff. Oh, couldn't think of it. I'm sorry. I should have gone to others. Oh well. It's Good to see you. I'm glad we got to uh, hang out in your stream with us. But welcome in, Raiders. And thank you very much for the follows, too. Thanks, Cat. And the beat. Stars! <laughs> We're doing a continuation of Star Ocean 2, which is one of my favorite RPGs in the game. Yes, look at you, Moody. I'm proud of you. 
Lotori Sakuraba, this is one of his earlier works. That's amazing. I love that you know that. But yeah, with the follows, uh, feel free to check out the new emotes too. Got a bunch of freebie genies. Including a uh, pot of new one. <laughs> Thank you very much for getting the shadow of my cat. He really does have a distinct style. It's battle time! It's battle time! Yes! And then there's me as uh, <laughs> that was pretty weak. Pieces. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys had a great time on your stream. The game looked a lot like a lot of fun. Um, make sure you take some self-care for the stream, okay? You gotta take a break, get some food, drink, whatever. I appreciate you bringing in viewers all the same, you know? Let's see. You got past cancer. Nice! Making good progress. I know I saw Moody saying that uh, the run was lost, but I take it you got it back. Okay, getting lost my map. Here, hold on. Then you come down this one. Yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't been in your streams recently. It was uh it was pretty rough. I was really sick for it. Not that run we got a cooked. Oh no. Well, I'm glad the next run's working better for you. Alright. You're all set, Ashton. You've got the chalice and the tears. All you have to do now is recite the incantation, and it will be done. Okay, you gotta give it a quick rundown for everybody here in the chat. So here's what we're up to. There's a guy to the right, Ashton. As you can see, he has two adorable dragons on his back. Uh, basically, he got cursed. He was fighting them, uh, he almost killed them, and then they transplanted themselves onto him. He wants them gone by all means necessary. But they just want to help out. They don't want to, they don't want to leave. But this is his decision to make, so here we are in the story. We killed a phoenix, or gotten a feather from a phoenix. We've got the tears of a goddess, and let's see how this plays out. Also, I love the voice acting in this game. It's so good. Minus soul. Yeah. I present my cursed body to the world so that it may be purified for all eternity. May my hobbled form be sanctified and cleansed of the evil with which it was stained. <laughs> Creepy! Let my cursed body be born anew by the sacred holy water in my hand, in the light of the gods. <laughs> Really not voice acted? What? What the? Did I just? Oh. Oh no. I just lost the audio in the game. Elgato, why? Why are you like this? Hold on. I swear, this Elgato picks the worst times and just like die out on me. I was just like, what? where did the voice acting go? Oh, it wasn't the voice acting. It was literally the whole thing just went bleh. Oh, man. Ah, oh, jeez. Every time. Well, let me see here. Can I look at... There we go. Let's see, plan. No. Okay, luckily though, you know, in the update here, I love that they have this where I can fix this. <sighs> Let's 
Okay. How did I have to always do this? Seriously, I need a new Elgato card. Also, welcome in, Ico. It's good to see you. I need a new Elgato. This one is just, uh, yeah. <laughs> one sec. Uh, gotta unplug it and replug it, which is terribly annoying. Okay. So, replugged back in. Uh, okay, I didn't lose YouTube, so that's good. But I did not get the audio back yet. What? <sighs> so many videos. One second here, y'all. I'm trying to figure it out. That encoding overloaded. What do you mean encoding overloaded? Ah, for freak's sake. What else can I do with this thing then? Try and play it from this side perhaps? I will admit, this is kind of how I had to fix it before. And uh, it's probably not a good sign for it. It's probably mean it's on the way out the door. Which I don't understand why. It's only the PlayStation that it, only, it does that for. The Xbox games are perfectly fine. It's very strange. Yeah, it's still not one to show up. Okay. We shall do this then. Delete. What about that? Actually, you know what? Hold on. Oh, couldn't they? I didn't realize the the Okay, okay, hold on. The whole thing froze up. I, I see. Okay, we have the video back. Good stuff. Let me punch this in. Uh, this probably messed with a whole bunch of things doing that. Oof. Okay, Elgato is back on. Cool. Ah! I can't do this. I know full right, well I'm that I can't. Across the bar now, so that's a good sign. You get? Can you guys hear it now? We good? Ah! I can't do this. I know full well that I can't. Okay. So basically he did the incantation. My Elgato froze. Because, thanks Elgato. And now Ashton is having a second thoughts. But this was the only excuse I had to travel together with you. I thought that if it weren't for this, I'd have to say goodbye and go on with my life the way it was. But now that I'm stuck with Creepy and Weepy, I don't want them to leave me. Ever. Yay. We are caught back up. Ashton. I let myself get too anxious. I was too nervous to bring up what we'd do if I didn't have this excuse to be with you guys. I thought that the only way for you to accept me was to force you into taking responsibility for all this. You've thank been you a friend of ours ever guys. since Appreciate we met you, you, Ashton. And thank you for your patience, too. Thanks, everyone. Yay! Happy <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Creepy? <laughs> Weepy? <laughs> I... I...
so there's no reason why we can't stay good friends. All right, Ashton. Oh. Yeah, I had to rebounce my All right. It should be Thanks okay for now. putting up with me. And creepy and weepy. Ashton, Creepy, and Weepy have joined the party. Yeah, my audio should be good now. It's not. Can't hear you. Uh-oh. No. If I didn't even mess with my mic settings, what the heck? Oh, not at all. I'm glad to have you with us, Ashton. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's an adjustment process. I gotta come back on it. Actually, no, hold on. I say that, but I can just do it here. Let's bring that down several notches. How about now? Is that more manageable? Yeah, I, in the process of all that, I had to reset the uh, audio capture, so I had to redo everything on the fly. Sorry about that. It should be good now. Okay, perfect. So we've completed that quest line. Good stuff. Next up to the town of Linga. Oh wait, no, Linga is not available. Okay, we need to go to Lakur, which is it's closer to Hilton than it is to New All right, awesome. But back on schedule. Thank you all. So, today's big event is we are going to the Kingdom of Lacour. Or Lacquer. I don't know which way to say it properly. But, yeah, we're going to be doing a, um, a big old fight. It's going to be a big martial arts tournament. Shonen anime style. Free level ups. You know, I'm thinking about maybe I should up the difficulty again to the game because uh, it's kind of easy again. <laughs> Man, what a pretty city. Also, once again, thanks for getting my audio sorted. I always appreciate it. All right, to the city of Lacquer. Lacour. Like here? I don't know. Wow, I've never been to Lacour before, but it's amazing. You sound like some kind of country hick out on vacation. Wow, Claude. Well, excuse me for being excited, Claude. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> I love the interactions. No, no problem. I never get tired of coming to Lacour. To me, it's the best place in the world. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Let's go see the castle. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's fine and all, but can't you guys save that for later? We've got business to take care of. Yeah, guys. What? Huh? Nothing. 
There's so much about this game that I just love for its dorky 90s RPG aesthetic. It's so good. Ooh. Statue of the Three Warriors. A likeness of the founders of the Armory Contest, artist unknown. Their gallant faces give the people courage and the hope to live, making Lucur into what it is today. Opinions differ on this. Just imagine the way I actually putting that in there. Ooh. There's an. Ooh. Yes, please. Let's sell some books, baby. Also, leave it to Priestess. This is why she's my favorite character of all time. In this game, anyway. Priestess, the genius mechanic. A girl's secrets. Like a heat sink to the winter sky. Like a computer fan to the whirring of a drill. So romantic. <laughs> Priestess has all the delicacy of... Er, yeah, uh, delicateness of somebody that literally runs into a fight and just punches everything. Let's see. And now, one of my best things in the game. Being able to publish your books, self-publish, and get royalties. Hey! Gotta love it. <laughs> Let's see. What you got, buddy? Everything's going fast because of the armory contest. Get what you need while you can. I shall see. Do you have anything that's actually worth getting? Eh. Oh, you have a mechanics toolboxes. That's handy. Hold up. Let's uh let's give ourselves a nice big old discount real quick. Hmm. Not a thing. Potion. Nightmares. Okay. Let's buy some goodies so we can make more stuff. Because honestly, at the heart of it, that's what this game is mostly about making stuff. Then he has spectacles, get some more fruits. Oops. Trains are good. Definitely want more of those. Have any goods to pillage, good sir? Nope. Now we're off. Oh. Yeah, I don't have that right now. <laughs> so this is the literal version of stocks in this game. Luxury grape juice. You buy it when it's cheap, and then the price on it literally constantly evolves. It constantly goes up as the game goes. It's a 313,600 full right now. It was, the first time I saw it, 178,000 full. Let's see. 
Who else we have to talk to? Oh, we have the tavern. Nice. Um, looking now. What I really want to find is the guild if I can. I want to be able to start learning more skills. Continue that way, so to the castle. Oh, you guys don't have anything to sell. Lame. You have an anime girl poster. What's the point of you guys not selling anything until the contest is over? Hello? Oh, fishing. Honestly, easily one of the best things to put in this is as, as a cute little add-on. I got a cook shrimp. Okay. Uh, let's see. What fish we got here? Oh, we're actually missing one. Alright, we'll use some trout. It's like an eel. Gross eel. <laughs> well, there we go. What I was missing was a gross eel. To the castle! Welcome. You can sign up for the contest here. Heck yeah! About to get it on! Are you sure about this, Claude? Of course I'm sure. I'm entering the liqueur armory contest. But, I mean, everyone else is gonna be really strong, <laughs> I bet. You might get seriously hurt. Thanks for the hurt confidence. Are you saying that I'm too weak to stand a chance? You know that's not what I meant. I've never had anyone give me an impartial view of my strength. Heck, I've never had anyone so much as recognize me for my talents instead of my name. That's why I think this is a great chance for me. A chance to test myself. So, quick background aside by the narrator. Uh, two things. One, Claude is from a different planet entirely. He's an alien. Uh, his dad is a super famous uh, admiral, so everybody knows him because of that, because of his name. Um, and everybody just kind of called him. Two, he has a, a hate boner going on for Diaz Flock, uh, which is Reyna's childhood friend. Because Diaz is basically Sephiroth, except not quite so evil. He makes everything look so easy, and it, it just kind of pisses Claude off. So, he heard DS is going to be in the contest, and that's actually the reason why he wants to join us. Proceeding on. Claude. Besides, there's someone in this tournament I've just got to meet. There you go. There it is. Do you mean DS? Uh. <laughs> Claude C. Kenny, is that correct? All right. I've taken care of your application. Make sure you find a sponsoring weapon shop and register with them by the day before the tournament. I got it.
All right, now if I recall correctly, and it has been a long time, I believe there's like a secret weapon trap you can unlock that gives you like the best gear possible. For the contest, I mean. We'll see though, we'll see. Ooh, there's books. Okay. More books. New symbological weapon to deal with the monster hordes. Ooh. Good, sir. You seem to have no face. This is kind of disconcerting. So, it says, ah, towards this point clearly indicate that the situation in the kingdom of El is critical. A rapid response needs to be organized at once to deal with the sorcery. Okay. That's what we call. What have we got down here? Oh, it's a lab. Where did you guys come from? What? Oh, Arlia. That's not what I meant. You don't work in the castle, right? If you're just sightseeing, you shouldn't come in here. Oh, um... Tourists just don't have any manners these days. It's really annoying. Um, I'm... Oh boy, I collected a gelatinous slime randomly. Alright, well, let's get out of the castle. There's nothing else to see here, I don't think. For now. Although, I don't know. Let's, let's do a quick treasure run. We got anything good to get? about getting the treasure you hey <clears throat> look what's behind this door star area nice you know in truth i had done so much grinding early on in this game that i uh kind of made a lot of it easier than it ever would have been <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, Coliseum proper. Uh, but no treasures. Darn. Never. Kind of weird that it shows it like that. Okay. Hey, treasure. Rosaria. Oh, that's the princess. Don't mind me, princess. Just steal your goods. Bye. Just deal with any good a JRPG tells you to do. Loot and pillage. Okay, so we have registered. Time to go find our uh, people we want to work with. If you're going to be in the tournament, I suppose that means we'll be in Lacour for at least a few days. Yeah, sorry to be such a pain in the neck. I don't have any problem at all. 
It'll be a good chance for you to see how strong you really are. Besides, if you win, it'll be a killer boost to your confidence. Thanks. I guess I owe you guys a victory now, don't I? <laughs> yes, you do. But before that, don't you have to go find a weapon shop to sponsor you? Oh, right. Signing up at the castle wasn't enough, was it? There are weapon shops all over Lacour. It shouldn't be too hard to find one. Let's take a look around the city. I want to go visit them all before I make a decision. Okay. Same with that. I had to wipe off my glasses there. It's getting a little hard to see. Okay. Once you pick a shot, you're stuck to what they've got. Better choose carefully. First up, the anime girl shop. The Savage Slayer. We've got the most eclectic selection in town from the hidden uh, something down. Okay, yeah, whatever. I just love watching fighters battle it out while wearing rare equipment. <laughs> A wallet? Ah, jeez. Flame equipment is more like. Ugh. None of that's rare, lady. That sounds awful. <laughs> You're abandoning me just like that? Yeah, well, that's what happens. You don't have good stuff. What you got, buddy? Sit right up. You won't find a better shop than all of the crew. Excuse me, are you still accepting contestants? Are you fighting in the contest? Sure, come on board, kid. Do we take a look at the equipment you're offering first? Sure thing, take a good look and let me know what you decide to do. Also, why does that cat look so stoned? That cat looks petrified, literally. And... Also offering two sweet syrups, one mixed syrup, and three black syrups. So, what's it gonna be, kid? Mm, keep looking. Yeah, what is up with that cat behind the poster? It is just zonked. <laughs> Our weapon shop has the longest streak of armory contest winners in the current history. Okay, what'd you get? Well, all the best stuff's been taken. What with our reputation for producing winners and all. You can still sign up with us and use what's left if you want. It's still first rate stuff. Bar cutter. That's an interesting one. I haven't heard of that sort. Must be in two sweet serves with mixed and one black. Okay. Yeah. Keep looking. There's something about a guy that just says, We have all the winners. Oh, we're still accepting people, but you get the garbage equipment that's left. Sorry. <laughs> He's like, jeez. Ouch. Can't, you a contestant? Can't you tell? Not really. Oof. <laughs> Let's see, Guthbeam, Padded Armor, Night Shield, Padded. So basically, it seems like all these shops offer the same thing. At least watch out for weird vendors trying to voice weird equipment on you. That wasn't usually helpful, huh? Okay. Important. 
We finally have access to the guild. Yay. No, I don't want advice. I just want missions. How dare you? No missions. Rude. Fine. Alright, so we got some skills to upgrade. Claude, buddy, we need to give you some better... Yeah. I gotta do that. Right now, you've got nothing. Okay. Oh, wait. Improve icy. There we go. That's a bit hit. Claude, you can't improve anything. up on that now. Oh, hey, Emmy. I would like you all to do some drawing. If you have any stream, thank you. I hope your drawing goes well. Your uh, fan art you made was really good earlier of, uh, ah, uh, jeez. I wanted to say Freerim, but it, that's not it. It's her apprentice. Fern, I believe. But yeah, your fan art was really good. I was like, wow. A good luck on it. Grandpa says that nobody is allowed to go in right now. He's trying to make something really great, and he says he doesn't want to be disturbed. Should come back a bit later. So, objective unlocked. Old Hermit in the shack is the one I gotta get my gear from. Call it now. But now the question is, how do I get him? Hmm. It's not a problem, I mean, I love shouting out artists and stuff like that. And speaking of, let me give you a shout out real quick here. There you go. You all should take a moment and go Oh, I hit the wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> I messed up. I was like, why didn't it go through? Try it again. If you're into watching somebody do some really cool fan art, you should totally check out Emmy. She's worth it. She's also a lot of fun just to listen to. So, how Welcome do I to Lacour Castle. Could we have an audience with the king, please? Unfortunately, his majesty will be unavailable for the duration of the armory contest. All right. We need to see him as soon as possible. Is there anything we can do? Hmm. Well, it's not impossible, I suppose. If one of you won the contest, you'd get to receive a congratulatory message from the king. Oh. Otherwise, I'm afraid you will have to wait several days. Hey, welcome in, Gordy. Thanks for the first time chat. I hope you're having a good day. Also, I love the emotes. <laughs> Welcome. You can sign up. So I feel like there was, there's some sort of trigger I have to do to get uh, another person. Yeah, that was your first chat. And you used it spamming some really cool emotes. <laughs> you picked well. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to play out. So let's save real quick. Because I don't want to screw myself over here. But we're going to go take a night at the end and see if we can't go talk to Gramps in his shop later. I get the feeling that I, the trigger is to sleep here for the night. And then it'll work. 
I hope. I hope I'm right with that. I was not right. Man. Hold on. Grams has some great gear, and I absolutely am not going to be missing that. Let's see here. Lacour. Armory contest. Okay, one second. I want to figure this out. Oh, okay. Basically, I'm st I'm being scammed here. <laughs> so I was right. I remembered correctly about that guy. Uh, the problem is that it's locked on Claude's plate. Like I'm playing as Reyna. So I have to, I had to do it for, as Claude would get it. Okay, Far Cutter seems like an interesting weapon. Gonna make ramen? Heck yeah! We'll go with Far Cutter. That's a weapon I haven't heard of before. sound pretty confident about yourself. All right, then, come aboard. Is there anything else I need to do now? Just go to the reception desk on the day of the contest and pick up your equipment. You'll get everything you need at that time. Till then, you're free to do whatever you want. Guess there'd be no harm letting that kid sign up. The more noobs we have, the better our chances of winning, right? Thanks, bro. <laughs> well, I guess jerk. this means I'm officially entered now. It's interesting, isn't it? For the combatants, this is a matter of life and death, but for everyone else, it's like a national festival. Well, it doesn't bother me at all. If you've got a chance to let loose, there's no reason why you shouldn't take it. Claude. Everyone has a different goal in life, you know? There's no point trying to force them down one way or the other. Oh, why so serious? Come on, it's gonna be a blast. You're right. Let's paint the town red until the tournament starts. Train your skills, play around, just do whatever you want. Poor Claude, he's having such a crisis. We can of stay in Lacour until the day of the tournament, right? Yeah. Not only is the inn free for tournament contestants, but they'll even wake me up on battle day so I don't sleep through it. <laughs> Great! Let's have some fun then! Oh, that would be awful. Okay, so does that mean that this the map is open now? Nope, so I can't talk to him. Well okay, now what? <laughs> Oh wow, my books are improving. Let's go. Uh, let's see if we can do some missions now. Can we unlock that? No, there aren't. Dang it. Okay. So we've actually kind of. Wait a minute. Destination. There's no private events. Limited time. But what's limited? Hold on. Let's do private action if we can. Better feel tired, Claude. We should come back here and take some rest. Interesting. Is this one of those triggers where I have to leave the town and then come back in to get it to work?
I don't know, should I enter the... You entered the contest, you doofus. <laughs> okay. So let's let's see if he's back here. I wonder. I guess I I guess we could actually just take a walk. Wait, is that the way? No, this is the way. Get some free items, get some free XP. All the good stuff. Hey! Bob getting that training arc in. You know, I've said it a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred more. The way they did the upscaling in the map in this game is so freaking dirty. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. This is Reese's life. Right. She has a giant mech backpack on God Bob and she punched a lot. Ooh, haste. Nice. Oh, and Matoy Sakuraba, I absolutely adore the music in this game. But can I just say, as somebody that's uploaded the content from this to uh, YouTube a couple of times now, it is incredibly annoying that the battle music, Stab of Justice, is actually copyright stricken on YouTube. Every Let's single go, video that I've had battles in, I've had to mute that segment of my video for just this little segment of the song. Twin cross, 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 cross. It's... It's enough. That's one for us. <laughs> I'm quite happy with this. To be honest, though, not really a whole lot gets missed. I mean, it's just regular battles, you know? It's kind of whatever. Also, I just noticed something. One second. That better be coming through correctly. I just saw that my YouTube stream was, like, super low quality. Okay, looks like a combat is good. I was about to say. Alright, let's go back to Linga here and see what we get. Did the man named Keith come home? Oh yeah. Can't forget CSV Pharmacy. <laughs> uh, where was this house again? Is it this one? I'm assuming he's not home yet. Professor is not in. Okay. Well, shoot. So now what? We've tried down the scholar we needed, but we can't decipher that text if he's not home. He's not gone forever, though. We can see him once the armory contest is over. Do you think that guy will let us in? Didn't you see how he was treating us? Yeah. We can't accomplish anything here. Why don't we try going back to the curve for a bit? We might be able to ask him directly if we find him there. Why not? Besides, this armory contest sounds kind of interesting. Okay, we're kind of seek, uh, kind of breaking the sequence here a little bit. No missions. Okay. Well, we could just teleport back to Liqueur. Or... We could do one of my favorite silly things in the game. Come here, bunny. Super specialty time. Let's do it. Bunny call. Oof. 50%? Really? 
No. Come on, Bunny. Ah, uh, come on, don't be this way. Come on, Bunny. Hey, there we go. Good job, Ashton. Honestly, one of the most ridiculous creatures ever created in a video game. <laughs> but I love it so much. Bunny goes or bunny pleases. Ooh. There's a treasure I didn't see before. Any others like that? Just hanging around? So the only limitation to Bunny is Bunny does not like water. So that's pretty much it, really. Okay, back to town though. Yeah, Bunny just kind of makes a joke of the entire map. It's kind of glorious, to be honest with you. <laughs> Okay, so we've come back to the liquor. Uh, did it change anything else for us? Still can't do lingo. Yet. Um, I guess we just stay at the inn? No, that doesn't feel right. Let's go check the, uh, the tavern. No, just a bunch of stereotypical warrior dudes. Oh, actually, you know what? Could be? First of all, nice. We could make some more books. Probably. Publication. Got some pretty good stuff going here. Okay. Here it goes. Let's scribble some books. Nice. Make some more. Uh, hold on. I don't want to try and do too many of a book because otherwise he won't take them all. And then I'm just kind of wasting my time. Oh, I guess I could do that. Okay. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and publish it. It's some pretty good stuff. Sure it'll sell well. You might actually be able to make a living off of just your royalties. Well, if you ever want to know how your bo your book's selling, feel free to drop by. So, does he just like pay me later? Is that just kind of how this goes? Yes. That's a big skill difference. Create priestess items. Ooh. I didn't know priestess had her own thing. Let's go. Here it goes. And by the way, we're doing this to fill the ad break. Two successes and a failure. The one two puncher and the drill puncher. Epic. Ooh. See if we can unlock that other one. Uh, nope, we just got more one-two punchers. So now we're at the five-six puncher. Here it goes. Come on, give me that last one. Mm. Fine. Here it goes. All of my tools. Take them all. Uh, okay, we're at the 11 12 puncher. <laughs> Jeez. 
missions. Oh, that was nice of it. Now I have more of those. Heck yeah. Good. That means that Reese's will make that Here item. Dang it. Ooh. Oh, she made a lot of that item. Steel Puncher. Mechanical fist made out of steel. Well, my curiosity has saved me. Also, Priestess has a whole lot of points now. So, heck yeah, let's do it. Oh, uh, yeah. We definitely want to get those. Those are some of the hardest skills to max out. Come here, bunny. Gotta improve our bunny skills. Uh, no, not that one. Yes. Okay, it's solid. Sandy. So we've done that stuff. Let's go sleep. After wasting my precious fall earlier. Welcome to the Lacour Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm one of the contestants in the tournament. Ah, yes. I see your armory contest badge. Could I have your name, please? Claude C. Kenny. Claude C. Kenny. Indeed, your name's on the list. I wish you the best of luck in the tournament. However, I must warn you that participants are not allowed to leave the city until after the armory contest is over. Ooh. Do you have anything left to take care of? Nope. Very good. Uh, I'd like to train a bit more. It's kind of tempting, but I think we'll be fine. We've been leveling quite a bit, honestly. Very good. I've assigned you to the gate suite. Please enjoy your stay. Now we just have to wait for the big day. We have five people in two beds. Oh, I wonder what would happen if some talent agent scouts me in the contest and makes me into a big music star. That's kind of random, Priestess. I could have joined the contest too, if I didn't have these guys latched onto my back. What? You totally could have still joined. What's up with you, Ashton? Whoa! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder if we'll see Diaz there. We haven't seen him in any of the towns we've been to. Yeah, where's this mystery man been anyway? Everybody just awkwardly watching her pace the room. It feels like time slows down to a crawl whenever you're waiting for something big to happen. What are you so nervous about, Reyna? It's not like you're the one fighting. You're right. I suppose I am acting a little strange, aren't I? Reyna? I... I make you all nervous when I'm around, don't I, Claude? I'm gonna go out and walk around for a bit then. Aww. Then it was just Reyna. Let's see. Best equipment. Nice. Alright, well, let's see what's about town. I guess. Well, we can't leave town. So, it seems the only place we can go is 
to the place you were told we couldn't go before. My grandfather finally completed his sword. Please, would you mind using it in the contest? Huh? What store does your granddad run? The one in that house over there. That's my grandfather's shop. Don't be stupid, kid. That's just a rundown old shack. Wow. No! It's my grandfather's shop! Really? Well, quit trying to pull one over on me, okay? I need to go find a real store to sponsor me before the contest starts. What a rude jerk. Welcome, Reina. Triple. Hmm. What's the matter? Is something bothering you? Do you know anyone fighting in the contest, lady? The contest? Screams internally. Yes, I was trying to come over here. My grandfather's <laughs> forged a sword for the big contest, but nobody wants to use it. It's a really great sword, I swear. Well, I've got a friend who's going to be participating. We can try asking him. Really? Oh, I think he's already chosen a shop, though. Ah! That's not gonna work, then. You can't switch shops once you've made your decision. Hmm. I'm just I'm over sorry. here reading right now. <laughs> I know. How about we go look for someone together? Look where? Well, if you want to meet a lot of fighters, the tavern's definitely the place to go. My grandfather didn't want me going in there. He said it was too uncivilized for me. Well, he is right, to be honest with you. Hmm. Well, I'll be accompanying you, so it won't be that bad, right? Wait, now, are you seriously about to take this little kid into the tavern? You think we'll find someone who'll take our sword, though? Of course we will. All right, let's go. You got it. Oh yeah, is this like the other kid where you can actually outrun her? No, okay, good, good, good. There was a, a child that you uh, had to escort before where if you ran too fast, you'd break down and crying and you had to slow See down See all the tough-looking guys in here? I'm sure some of them still haven't found a shop yet. Let's get a really strong-looking one. Nobody too scary, though. We better get someone who's nice and handsome. Okay, Reyna. Okay. Preferences much? <laughs> I think they should change the rules so the women can enter the contest. What do you think? No, I agree, actually. You're here all by yourself, lady? You better watch out for these drunks. Oh boy. What? A sword hammered out by some old guy I've never even heard of? Forget it, kid. I wouldn't use that thing even if you paid me. Well, ironically, you do get paid, but I guess that's beside the point. Sorry, but I've registered with a different shop. Try asking someone else. Fair. Shop's reputation is one way to determine the quality of its equipment. You just spout nonsense, okay. And that's small talk, lady. You want to go out with me if you're not doing anything? Grave alert. Nope. Hey, Raina, is that guy really a fighter? I wouldn't mind seeing some women in the contest, but children? I'd have to draw the line there. Okay. So... Let's 
too. That's weird. Oh, he just said that. What? Oh, I have to ask him. And okay, that's weird. I probably shouldn't leave Sophia alone in here. Right. Raina, what do you know? Is that you? Diaz, what are you doing here? It was him, Diaz, all alone. Why so surprised? I told you I was entering the tournament. Did you mean what you said in the Forest of Symbols? Maybe I did. It wasn't that long ago, you know. You must be going senile early if you've forgotten about it already. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> what Good about time, you, Kat. Reina? Did you get you. in another argument? This isn't any place for a girl to drink alone, you know. That's not why Aww. I'm here. I'm just looking for a tournament fighter willing to use this sword that Sophia's grandfather made. <laughs> a sword? <laughs> you have my interest. <laughs> this is why you don't take kids to a ball. What the hell, kid? You got a death wish or something? Dude, I'll punch your face in. Shut it. Tell me one more time how I'm not that much of a swordsman. And I'll cut you in half, little girl. Well, stop picking on my grandfather's sword! <sighs> oh, what? You saying that doddering old coot's a master swordsmith? Come on, that sword couldn't even slice bread. How would you know before you try? Oh. Who the hell are you? The swords of liqueur are masterpieces. There's little room for argument about that. A fine liqueur sword is a weapon of world-class caliber, one that deserves all the reverence it gets. Ha! Glad someone's got a little taste around here. But this town's been riding on its reputation for too long, and the quality has suffered. Ooh. Liqueur swords are getting duller by the year. Ooh. What was that? I've been to every weapon shop in town, and not a single one has managed to catch my interest. Get burned! Diaz, you haven't registered with the store yet? So what? All that proves to me is that you don't know nothing about what makes a good sword. Yeah. We'll see about that at the tournament. No sword of yours will be enough to stand a chance against me. Ha! <laughs> Tell you what. How about you drop the lip for now and we'll settle this in the arena with an audience watching. How about you drop the lip for now? I can hardly wait. <laughs> okay, I won't back out of Reina, the argument. you're coming with me. Look, how stupid do you have to be to start a fight with a bunch of drunken goons at a tavern? Right. Kind of agree. Hey, I'm not stupid. No, Reyna's stupid for taking you in. Anyway, you said your grandfather's sword is the best. Does he have one ready? Oh, of course. Granddad Ganji's swords are the best in the world. Granddad Ganji. You'll win for sure with the one he made. So Sam took up the smithy Genji. profession, huh? <laughs> what is it, Diaz? Reyna, from now on, I don't want to be seen together with you anymore. Stop wandering around and go back to your friends right now. What's your problem all of a sudden? I don't want him to get upset at me like that again. What are you talking about? Oh. I'm going to go visit this little girl's grandfather. There's no reason for you to tag along. Hey, thank you very much for the raid, Saru. Welcome in, raiders. Hope you guys have been having a good one. I know that Saru was streaming some Super Mario. Hope you guys are having fun over there. 
and also welcome in to the YouTube side to Wreck and um, that's interesting. Insert a name. Welcome in and thank you for the chats. Hope you guys are having a good day. But yeah, uh, thank you for coming on in. We are in the middle of Star Ocean 2. We're about to get to the good stuff, the fights, the tournament. About to have a big old sword swinging monster bashing melee. It's going to be amazing. Honestly, it's one of my favorite parts of the game, too. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you gotta take some time to rest up, get some to drink, food, whatever you gotta do, sorry. I appreciate the raid and take it easy, okay? If you wanna just lurk, that's fine, too. Ooh, I love that raid emote. Is that new, or have I just not seen that before? It's cute. <laughs> But anyways, though, let's get back to it. We're going to go visit Granddad, Granddad Gamgee and his Master Smith Sword. And also, for the people that are paying attention to the background, yes, there is, in fact, a picture for a weapon shop back there that looks like Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Thank you for the shout out, I think, but it said my name and then yours. What? Uh. Whoa. Whoa, what? What the heck happened to my stream? Oh, huh? Hold up. <laughs> Take one sec here. <laughs> what the heck was that? Stream moments, are you feeling okay? <laughs> That was definitely weird and random. Oh. Okay, okay. Cat, cat, cat did a typo. Oh, gotcha. No problem. It's all good. Uh, just a heads up to cat, if it makes it easier for you, you can start typing the name, then hit tab, and then enter, and it'll autofill the name in. There we go. That's great. Now we're good. There's the... Thank you for catching that, sorry, because I actually missed that at first. That'd have been kind of awkward. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you very much, Raiders, for coming in, and hope you guys enjoy the chill stream while we uh, do the good fights. Just finished Mario 64 minus three stars. Wow, that's a lot of stars, though. And Sunshine is your next one. Okay. Well, let us continue down the I path. guess not, but... Oh, you're Would doing he be in the it's tournament? Okay. Yes, he's in. Shouting people out is really hard on mobile. Tell him this. Win. And keep on winning until the final round. Dias, wait! Ugh! It's always like this. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. Diaz waits for no man. Or woman. I was going for all the level stars, but got very frustrated in the last few, so I stopped to start short. Yeah, I mean, uh, here you go. Here's a better close-up picture. Minus the sword, it's basically Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> and then on this part of town, we have the most borked out, zoinked out looking cat ever sitting on this barrel. If you got if you got all the way to like three stars left though, you've gotten like almost all the progress. So you could totally take a break and come back later and try it again. You know, I'm impressed with that progress. Though. That's a lot of stars you got. All right, let's go. Um, oh. The hell do you want, man? I'm trying to relax before the contest. Oh, there's now somebody there. Are you all right, madam? You look pale. I'm fine. I just need to rest in my room for a bit. Reyna is not having a good day. No one else found out about my encounter with Diaz, not even Claude. I looked around town a few more times hoping that I'd see him again, but I never did. Not until the day of the tournament. 
Finally got around to playing Octopath 2, though. Nice. How is it? You having a good time with it? The day finally dawned on the liqueur armory contest. The town was alive with excitement, every street and thoroughfare packed with feverish crowds of people. I love these cinematics they put into the game. These were not in the original. One after another, the tournament contestants filed into liqueur castle. It wouldn't be long before Claude would be joining them. Well, I'm all set. I'll be heading off for Lakura Castle soon. Are you nervous, Claude? Are you really ready for this? It's a bit different. It's a 2D HD thing like this game. It has no grand story, but eight running parallel ones. Okay, so it sounds like it's like the original one. I hope they, uh, I hope they kind of polished it up some because the original one kind of fell apart at certain points if you got too far into it. Like if you if you progress too hard with the character or something. Hopefully it's better than this one though. If it is like the first one, by the way, those eight parallel stories will converge in some way. Yep, I wanna get to you the story and thank you for the stretch, cat. I'll be fine. I feel a lot better today. Really? <sighs> Don't worry. I really feel like I've got a chance to win today. I do know there's a grand evil, but for now I adore the music, but I can already tell it's going to get grindy. Well, if they take any lessons from the first one, if they take any lessons from the first one, the grind actually can get easier, just based on how you level up your class. There's a little bit of strategy to how you can do it, but you can make it to where the grind happens quick. Uh, and in Star Ocean, as you, as you know from my own playthrough, you can actually make it the grind go extremely quick with no issue in this game. And it's pretty intuitive, but if you do start at Star Ocean and you want tips on how to grind faster to get like higher level stuff if that's your thing, then by all means hit me up and let me know in messages. I would be glad to show you the skills you need to do to get there. It's actually not too hard to figure out, to be honest, but I'm always willing to help if you want to. Alright, it is time. Hold on. Nothing to do here. Uh, can I buy from these guys or not yet? No, nope. tomorrow. Alright, let's go. Here's another defining point difference, by the way, between playing as Claude and playing as Reyna. Claude is about to get ready for the contest. Get hyped up, pumped up. Everybody else is about to watch him fight. In we go to the Dragon's Coliseum. Probably. Excuse me, I'm participating in the tournament. Your name? Claude C. Kenny. Kenny, ah yes. First of all, please give me all of your weapons and items. We'll be keeping them here for you. All right, now I'll give you the equipment sent to us by your sponsoring weapon shop. You'll receive the rest of your usable items before the battle begins. So check with the arena agent for details. For now, you're all set. Please relax in the waiting room until the tournament begins. You, Claude! I was waiting until he finished, so I said that. <laughs> so this is actually something I really love. It's a story-driven thing, but I absolutely adore that no matter how overpowered and crazy good you are, they're like, that's cute. All the weapons at the counter, you get exactly what we told you you're getting. That's it. No cheats. And I think that's really cool. Thank you. It Excuse was me. Has my weapon so arrived yet? You're DS Flack, right? I'm sorry. We haven't received anything from your weapon shop. Whoa. Uh -oh. How much time do I have? 
Well, given the circumstances, we'll extend the deadline to just before the start of your first match. Would you perhaps be able to visit your weapon shop and see what the situation is? I don't need you to remind me. <laughs> Diaz! Reyna, what do you want? Is Gamgee's weapon here yet? Well, what's it to you? Everything! I'm the one who introduced you to him. Good job, Reyna. Wow. Nobody saw you with Diaz. No one had a clue that this is going on between you guys. And you literally in front of Claude and the whole party just said, I totally set you up with that guy. Oh. Oh. Introduced him? What's all this about, Reyna? Uh. Hold on. It's nothing. She was just in the right place at the right time. There we go. Nothing to get jealous over, Claude. Inappropriate face palm. What? Stop thinking about it. It's my problem, not yours. Yeesh. I'm sorry. I need to go with Diaz for a moment. Reyna? You, Claude! Diaz can't fight in the tournament without a weapon. You don't want to lose your chance to fight him, do you? What are you waiting for? Go if he means that much to you. Oh, that's some flimsy reasoning, Claude, right? it's not like that. Well, you're the one picking out weapons for Diaz. Whose side are you on here anyway? That's fair. Claude, why are you saying this? Why do you think, Reyna? The answer is she doesn't. Didn't. Diaz, wait! Now it's again. I actually love this story. I really do. Even though I clown Not on again. it. again. You really enjoy giving your friends the wrong idea, don't you? Well, what do you want me to do? It's too late to turn back now. Come on. We gotta find that old man before I run out of time. Where should we begin? We'll try his place first. For a very quick point of reference, by the way, the relationship between Reyna and Diaz is essentially he is her older brother, not literally, and she just really looks up to him and adores him. And he tries to keep his distance because, well, he's a broody edgelord and also he doesn't want her to get hurt. Which she then in turn takes it to be that he's standoffish and he's not. And there's a thing with his sister dying at some point for some reason. And it's a whole mess. Once again, just taking a brief moment to mention, even with grinding, yes, folks, we are in fact only like 20 hours into the game. And we have gotten more trauma dumping than better health in six months. Anyways, though, let us continue. But for reals, I know, I, I know I'm being funny and a little bit on the sarcastic side, but I, I genuinely do love this game. It's one of my childhood favorites. Sophia! Reina and Diaz! What happened, Sophia? Tell me. My, my granddad! Uh-oh. Diaz, you're scaring her. Calm down! Sophia, we came to help you and Gamji. Where is your grandfather? We were going to the castle together, and these men came and took my granddad's sword! He didn't try to fight back, did he? They ran off, and he started chasing after them, and I don't oh, know no. what happened after that! Damn, this guy comes with a lot of baggage. 
Says you. Sophia, do you have any idea where Gamji and those men could have gone? I don't know! If they're in the tournament, then they have to be in town. They weren't in the tournament area. If I had to guess, they're probably drinking to their good fortune right now. So that means... The tavern. Quick! To the tavern, Reyna! You know, for a town as big as it is, they really don't actually have a lot for you to see. But then again, I guess that's because this is an underdeveloped planet. So it kind of makes sense. Who are you? Sorry about crashing your little party here, but I'm here to take my sword back. Well, what are you talking about? I don't know nothing about no sword. You'll have to do better than that, punk. What about that one hanging off your waist? <laughs> ah, guess there's no point hiding it anymore. How about we find out how sharp this sword really is, huh? Let's dance. Don't you have a sword? I have my fists. <laughs> Press and cross. That was a waste of time. <laughs> Didn't even move the experience bars. Ah, oh, jeez. Swallow blade recovered. Why would these men do this? Don't you remember? These are the guys who were picking on Sufia the night I ran into you. It wasn't that long ago, game. We got it. Zengen's but they fist said they were gonna settle sleep. things with you during the tournament. <laughs> they realized they didn't have a chance. Either they found out who I was, or they heard about the reputation that Gamji had. That that's just not how you do things. Oh yeah. Well, you got people like these, and then you get idiots who plow head on into every battle in front of them. <laughs> Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> that was a burn. Anyway, let's go. We're gonna be late. Where do you think Gamji is, though? I doubt they did anything that rough to him, but I have to admit that I'm a little worried. Friendship level has changed. Yay! But, real question though, where is KMG? That's actually important. It doesn't, do, doesn't feel good to win the contest and find out he was like, left in a trash heap. coming through the gas still? It's showing up on OBS. But for some reason, this is not voiced, and that's weird. Hold up. Did you find Granddad for me? Sorry, I found the sword, but Ganji himself is no still nowhere to be found. I doubt he has been hurt, since there's no reason to hurt him. They were just after me and that sword. He'll be back soon enough. Really? I've taken the sword back. That fight we had in front of the tavern ought to have gotten the message across. Wow, I didn't realize you thought it out that far. You and your granddad come see us at the contest later, okay, Sophia? We need to get going. Aw, oh, Diaz is such a nice guy. Got it. I'll wait here for him. Yeah, how weird that that wasn't voiced. Just gave me pause. I was like, uh oh. 
The audio didn't break again, did it? No? We're good. Onwards to the tenement. Just want to take a second to appreciate, by the way, that if I want to be a total scumbag, you can, in fact, just walk up to people and steal their crap out of their pockets. There's a whole skill tree for being a pickpocket in this game. There's also a bonus skill tree where you can make contraband. This game has morals. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Sorry I'm late. You still taking registrations? I'm D.S. Flack. Ah, Mr. Flack. Did you find your weapon? It found is the appropriate word. Like this one here? You see Gamji's inscription on the blade? Yes, that matches what we have in the books. Very good. Get on over to the arena. Your first match will be starting in a few minutes. Diaz is such a badass. Right. He doesn't need a warm up. He just goes from running the streets to running the fights. Thanks for helping me look for this, Reyna. Sorry I forgot to thank you till now. Diaz. Well, good times. And now, we observe. There it goes. Look at all the people that turned out for this, too. The old guy in front of me keeps trying to give advice to the contestants. What's wrong with you? Duck to the right. To the right. Good. Now duck to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad thinks he's in a boxing match here. All right, let's meet up with the with the crew. Reina, you're back. Hey, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. Reina, I won my first round match. Hey. Really? He's only fought one match, but he's already got every girl in town swooning over him. <laughs> Literally. Oh. Look at the character sprites. That's some attention to detail. Every character that is facing the general direction is like looking at Claude almost. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wouldn't have left right before your fight if I had known you were the very first match. It's okay. Besides, you were angry at me. Oh, Diaz is up next. Diaz, Diaz, Diaz. Then there's a gimpy looking soldier guy versus um, David Bowie. The eighth match of round one, <laughs> it's Thomas <laughs> Nelson against Diaz Flack. Diaz was almost disqualified from the tournament, but he's got his weapon and he's ready for action. Let's see what they've got in store for us. This announcer is amazing, by the way. This is How a quality annoying. dialogue. Crescent cross. And no, I'm not playing. I'm just watching. Because Reyna is just observing the fight. Not too bad. It really is the little details. If you're playing as Claude, you don't see this whole thing with Diaz. Instead, you're fighting in the tournament. But as Reyna, you just watch the tournament because you're not in it. Diaz, Diaz Black has won the eighth, eighth match of round one. one. Let's, Let's give him a round of applause. Woo! Make it look easy. Oh, he made it just in time. Thanks for the dean, cat. <laughs> it was nothing serious. Some guy stole Diaz's weapon to keep him from entering the tournament. That's all. If you think you can get away with that, you have another thing coming. 
We'll have a lot of time afterwards, so let's get this figured out later. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, it took a sec to recognize what uh, Basis was saying there. Celine, so what's going on between you and Diaz anyway? I'm kind of losing track of what's happening. And Raina's just like, oh, you know, some people stole a sword, and that's all. And Priest is just like, uh-uh, I am not buying that for a second. There is more to this, but we're going to talk this out later. Priest is always so clever like that. That's fine with you, right, Claude? <laughs> huh? Priest is totally team uh, Claude. What's this about? <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Kinney. Round two is about to get started, so could you return to the waiting room? Oh, that's adorable. Claws all blushing out. Oh, sure. Good luck. Try not to lose. This is hilarious, Claude, honestly. Do your best, okay? I'll be watching. Got it. Claws about to go in there. Whoa! <laughs> the woman I love is watching. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Gamji was able to see Diaz's match. Hey, isn't that Gamji over on the other side of the arena? Potentially. Let's go see. Triplets? Actually, we're triplets, indeed. So you have Saki, Kiki, and Aki. Oh, Reina, it's you! Gamji, are you all right? Of course I am. My sword's fighting out there. You think I wouldn't come to see that? Would you mind cheering on Diaz for me? There's someone else in the contest I need to look after. Oh, look at Reyna, that's so adorable. Oh, then I'll do my best to yell my lungs out for you, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Gamgee. That's adorable. All right, back to our seats. Let's watch the next round commence. Nope, we maxed out Pet. Uh, can we do that while we're here? I don't know if we can. Uh, she doesn't have particularly great at it, but yeah. Nope. Nah, that's fine. Missions, challenge, go. Oh. Just some quick burning through some items. One second. Oh, I got something there. There we go. And now I can do the mission. That's wow, got a bunch of stuff for that. Okay, anywho. Back to it. Let's do it. Ah, oh, yes. I, too, love a fighting tournament where giant baboon-like monsters are air challenges. This tournament's starting to heat up, folks. We've got the first match of the second round for you, starting right now. Doran Dan is taking on Claude C. Kenny in this match, and it's shaping up to be a monumental battle. Claude's one of our younger competitors. How long can he hold out? Does he have what it takes to win it all? Let's find out! This announcer is so good, for real. Also, Doran Dan. It's pretty much what oh, I heard. Oh, it's these guys. Meteor! Meteor! Jeez! Meteor! Not too shit. Man, it clawed out of him. 
And decent experience, too. Nice. Good job, Claude. Give him the fist of fear. Claude C. Kenny has won the first match of round two. The semifinals are coming up next. Come on, I want to hear some noise from you guys. Claude's doing amazing. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. He's made it to the semifinals. Let's go, Claude. Man, Claude's really got it, doesn't he? I mean, the semifinals. Claude's absolutely the dreamiest. I can't believe what's <laughs> happening. Wow, my heartbeat's going crazy here. Oh. Hold it. <laughs> cool. Serena's got some more stuff. Let's put it in the dimension. Yep. And break. Cool. Oh, I guess she just had to take a walk, basically. That was kind of weird to watch. Diaz is fighting in the next match, isn't he? Let's go! Looks that way. I mean, Diaz Well, is you saw team. how strong he was. He's gonna plow through this next match like a hungry lion. Reese well, got the right idea. maybe. <laughs> the final match of the second round pits Edwin Millward against Diaz Flack. Diaz has garnered a lot of attention for himself in this tournament, and Edwin has a lot to prove himself. Who's gonna run away with it? I like how Claude gets monsters and Diaz gets people. <laughs> What the heck? Diaz Flack stormed through his first round matchup. His opponent in the second round is Edwin Millward. Diaz has garnered a lot of attention for himself in this tournament, and Edwin has a lot to prove himself. Who's going to run away with it? Honestly, that's a huge shield. He's like a Mega Man enemy. This will be. Air Slash! Wow! <laughs> that was a waste of time. Holy moly. All right, Diaz, jeez. He just cut that guy like butter. Diaz has done it again. The hero of the hour, Diaz Black, has won the final match of round two. What do the semifinals have in store for us? You'll just have to sit and watch. Seriously, he made that way, way easy. Wow, he's unstoppable. It ought to be like against the law for him to compete. <laughs> right? So it could really happen. Claude and Diaz fighting in the final round. Fighting for your hand, Reyna. Do you think Claude can beat Diaz? I don't know, but I told Claude that I'll be watching him, and that's what I'm gonna do right until the very end. Oh, look at you, Reyna. That's wow, sweet. Reyna, that's pretty nice of you. You're really a determined girl. <laughs> Racist? You okay there? That sounded pretty, uh... And so Claude moved on to the finals, oblivious to Reyna's concerns about Diaz's formidable strength. We have our first finalist. Claude C. Kenny has won the first semifinal match. Only, only two, two battles, battles left, left folks. folks. It's, it's only, only going, going to get, get hotter and hotter from here. Kind of weird that we didn't see that, actually. Huh. Wow! Yeah. Claude's actually in the finals! Why did they skip that? That's so strange. This is awesome! Now you've just got the finals to deal with! 
Ashton, we need to get you a cheerleader outfit. I can barely believe it myself. You might as well keep it up then. Just one more match left to go. There's something I need to ask, though. What is it? Is Diaz still in it? Oh, yeah. The smoke has cleared. It's time for the second semifinal match. And what a match it is. Wow. He just violated these two fighters against each other, and fate will allow only one of them to survive. Say, not that out, Blanca. There we go. Diaz Black has dominated every match so far. Can Grom LaRosse put a stop to his mad rush? Here they come! Well, I don't know. I just air slash. Crescent cross. Wow. Air slash. That was a waste of time. The fact that Diaz got that much experience means that guy was actually legit tough. It's all over. We have our second finalist, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner of the second match, Diaz Black. Yay! He's still in it. He is in it to win it. Diaz is simply overwhelming. <laughs> It'd be strange if he didn't make it this far. You don't have to tell me, that's for sure. Even I can see how strong he is. Claude, you didn't lose your nerve after seeing that match, did you? It's not that. Seeing how strong he is just makes me want to put everything I've got into this battle. That's the showing spirit. Wow, Claude, that was totally cool how you said that. Sorry to bother you. Since the final match is about to begin, I'll need you to be over in the waiting room. Sure. Claude! You can do it! You can do it! Oh, that's so sweet. Let's go cheer squad. You know, I like how the the tech the uh, subtext changed. It went from being about Reina versus or uh, Claude versus Diaz for Reina's affection, and more of a actually he's just having fun learning his own strength. I think that's amazing. Uh, let's go talk to GMG real quick. Actually, he's still here. My sword, my lovely sword, is going to be used in battle. Oh, thank you, Tria. Tria being one of the gods of creation. Okay. Back to our seats. Let's go. Need like some epic battle music for this. Oh, they switched sides. I didn't realize that before, they were both in the right before. Here it is! The, the moment, moment you've all been, been waiting for! The explosive, the explosive conclusion, conclusion to the Liqueur Armory Contest! Claude C. Kenny, DS Black, one battle to decide it all! Who will be the crown champion? Who is going to reign as the best swordsman in the land?
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the king of the tournament. Need an oof for that one. Go tell him he did a good job, Reyna. Heels. Ah, wait, the tournament. What happened to the finals? It's already over, Claude. Oof. It's over? So I I You almost had him beaten, but he came back and won in the end. Okay, she is sugarcoating the crap out of that. Ain't no way. <laughs> But that's sweet of her, though, to think of him. Oh, funny. I don't remember any of that. Diaz! I don't think you're in any shape to talk like that to me, but I'll just ignore it for now. Dang, cold. What do you cold want? Boy. I thought I'd come over to thank you. Thank me? You were better than I ever expected. I haven't had to put 100% into a fight in ages. Aww. Me? Look at these Don't get two. the wrong idea. It wasn't a compliment. What? what How was that not a compliment, Diaz? Could be in such a soon today. Or at least soon, if nothing else. You try not to spoil him either, Reyna. It'll be better for him if you keep him on a long leash. <laughs> what are you talking about, Diaz? That's all I wanted to say. I need to get going. Diaz! What? Say it. Will I see you again? Yay. Certainly, if the time comes. We should leave too. Hey, you all right? You don't want to rest some more? I'm still feeling a little lightheaded, but that's all. Must have been out for a while. Well... Reyna was casting spells on you the whole time, so... Dang. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Now then, why don't we take some of that energy and focus it on the Sorcery Globe investigation? The first thing to do is to go to Linga and get that book of ours deciphered. To Linga, finally! All right, Linga's our next stop then. Oh, but before we leave, we need to go claim your second place prize. Ayo. Oh, there was a second place prize? I didn't know that. Claude didn't read the paperwork. Claude! Claude. <laughs> Sorry. What a lovable Claude. <laughs> All right, we got our party back together. Okay. Uh, I don't think Claude leveled up to me, did he? No. All right, let's go claim our prizes real quick. Oh, weird. 
I thought the tournament officiants would be the ones that gave you the prize. Uh, oh. oh, it's the shopkeeper. Okay. Hey, here goes the runner-up. Sorry, I was a bit late. I'm surprised you made it that far. Not bad. Of course, it would have been nicer if you'd have won. So we got our new sword, which is it a better one? I wonder. It is not, actually. Huh. This equipment's on. Oh, oop. Here we go. Okay, everybody's got their best gear. Good stuff. I was gonna say hi to Gam uh uh, Gamgee real quick. I keep want to call him Gamgee just because of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Gamgee! Oh, Reyna! Hey, it's you, Reyna! these people, Reyna? This man forged the sword Dias used in the tournament. Dias's sword? You there! You fought in the tournament, didn't you? Indeed. Yes, sir. Actually, Claude was the one with Dias in the final match. Oh, look at that. Of course, of course. I watched the whole thing. That was a very close fight. It could have gone either way in the end. People are way too generous about this. <laughs> oh, I wasn't anywhere near that. Diaz had nothing but good things to say about your sword fighting, you know. Said he's looking forward to seeing you mature. See, look at that. He said that? In fact, uh, he told me to give you something if I happen to run into you afterwards. Oh, hold up. What do we got? You're giving this to me? Let's go. That's another one of the swords I've made. He said it'd be a good fit for your size. Diaz said that? That guy's pretty shy, isn't he? It'd be a <laughs> lot easier if he just told you all of this himself. <laughs> so, does this mean he sees me as some kind of rival then? If not rival, then little brother. Deadly Edge. Uh, it says I already hit. Aww. Is it not as good? Oh, it's close. But no, it's not as good. Dang. That'd have been cool if it was. Still, got a new, a new sword. That's what's, good. That's what's up. Alright, can I take on guild missions now? Or are we still Persona Non Grata for that stuff? Oh, let's save real quick. I should go talk to the shops too. See if you got anything new.
Don't do any business on the day of the contest. Oh. Meh. Okay, so I gotta come back to that. Ah, that's fine. Alright, well, we got an ad break that's coming up here in a very quick second, so I'm going to switch over to my BRB and go use the restroom real quick. And everybody, take a chance at, or take the moment to go hydrate and get you a snack or whatever you want to do to get comfy, okay? We'll be back here in just a few minutes. Alrighty, ad break is over and we are back. Got a quick restroom break in and a stretch. Refill my water. And uh, 
I got a cannoli, but sadly I didn't get a chance to eat it. Oh well. I'll get some of it later. Anyways, back to it. Let's get it. The next step is Linga. Let's make sure everything's squared away. First off, we're heading for Linga, right? Yep. We need to find someone who can read the ancient text for us. With some luck, it should give us some sort of clue behind the origin of the sorcery globe. Yeah, that too. The town's located more or less south of Lacour, if I recall correctly. Sounds good. Let's go. Achievement unlocked, let's go. All right, back to Linga. But let's get some easy experience on the way, shall we? Thank you, Selene. Why would you guys fight that one? That's weird. Hey, Priest has leveled up. It's kind of tempting to grab bunny and just run straight there, but I figure doing a little bit of easy, grind, easy grinding like this is actually pretty good for us. This priestess is behind level still a little bit compared to everybody else. Now, hopefully, Mr. Scholar is here. Good sir. Hey. And you would be? Pardon me, sir. We've come here in search of a linguist. You'd like to meet the professor? Do you have an appointment? An appointment? I'm sorry, people, but the professor is a very busy man. If you don't have an appointment, then I'm afraid he doesn't have the time to see you. Could we make an appointment now, then? We really need to talk to him. Well, I don't have any openings available until about a month from now. A... Uh, a month? Yes, a month. I'll see you then. Oh, brother. Next month? He had to be screwing with us. We can't wait that long, can we? No. That's why we've got to figure out a way to get in contact with him. Do you think the linguist would have any acquaintances elsewhere in town? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Like who, for example? How about Priestess, who's right here in the party? Well, like friends, or maybe people who work at the shops he visits. Hmm. You know anyone like that, Priestess? Hmm. I'm not all that close with Keith. Oh, wait. If something needs fixing, you gotta visit the pharmacy, right? The pharmacy? Yeah, whenever anyone needs help, they go talk to this guy, Bowman. He's a pharmacist. Let's go see him then.
Mm. That's kind of weird to say. Whenever you need something fixed, then you go to the pharmacist. Makes them something like the cleaners or something. Hello, hello. You running a fever? No, that's not the problem. We're here for... Um, do you know the linguist who lives next to the campus store? Oh, you mean Keith? It's very important that we talk to that man. Do you know how we can meet him without an appointment? Well, he's been swamped with requests to decipher old books and scrolls lately, that much I know. Unless it's something really, really important, I doubt there's any way to jump the line. We need him to read an ancient text we found inside Cross Cave. Would that work? From Cross Cave? Well, that's a whole different story then. We can't wait a month for this. If you happen to know Keith at all, would you be able to arrange something? You're telling me you found this scroll inside Cross Cave. You know that's hard to believe based on what I know about the cave, right? We have the evidence right here, if that's what you're asking. Evidence, evidence. You could fabricate something like that easy. <laughs> Not that I'm saying you're lying, mind you. Just tell us how we can convince you. Right? <laughs> if you're strong enough to traverse Cross Cave, then going through Linga's sacred grounds shouldn't be a problem for you. Linga's sacred grounds? Hmm. Yep, a place revered by pharmacists for its bounty of medicinal plants. Located right next to town, you know? It still hasn't fully been explored, though. There are still all kinds of undiscovered herbs inside, no doubt. So you want us to go in there? Oh, this is no field trip. It may be a sacred ground, but deep inside exists a place known as the door to another world. Ooh. It's a dangerous place, and it's lousy with monsters. If you aren't ready for it, you could pay with your life. The door to another world. But you'll believe our story if we go and fetch some herbs for you? How ominous. Hmm. Maybe. If the cross cave didn't kill you, then finding me an undiscovered herb would probably convince me. An undiscovered herb? Are you serious? Oh, that shouldn't make you break a sweat, Mr. I went to cross cave. Come on, off you go then. There is such a fundamental difference in difficulty between these two caves. This guy just doesn't have a clue what he's talking about. What you got? You got anything good to buy? Hmm. Nope. Okay. Care to take a stroll to the guild? I thought you'd never ask. Because seriously, I've been wanting to take guild missions forever now. Hey you, give me missions now. Can't hold it. Oh, we discarded it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Now let's report the missions. So many rose hips. Jeez. Oh, that was easy. Hey, Maiden's Aria. Nice. New weapon for Ashton? That's cool. Guild missions complete though. Alright, now let's go to this place that I remember getting very lost in once before.
the sacred grounds. A door to another world. Hey, welcome in, bud. Uh, Biz. Thanks for the lurk. Hope you've been having a good one. This must be the sort of herb Bowman wants us to find. Too easy. It's right inside the door. Perfect. Now we'll get to see Keith in person. Lamel. You sure about that? I think I've seen these in the item shops in Arlia and Salva. Nice one, Raina. But nope. Hey, you. Jump. Jump. Run around. No. You sure about that? I'm not gonna complain though. I mean, these are free herbs, so you know. Thank you. Alright, so we're here. I think we've gotten most of the treasure chests already out of here. What is this? Uh, yes, actually we did. We already got all of them. Oh, wait. Wait, there's two sections I missed before. I stand corrected. Let's go. Free XP for me. level for Claude. Here we go. Let's fight this one because it's a multi. And punch punch. And punch punch. Multi super ultra punch. <laughs> Reese has all these cool abilities, and here I am just throwing hands. That's just what I do. Thank you. Perfect. Now, are you sure about that? These are not the herbs we're looking for. Right? So I'll take them because they're free. You sure about that? Let's see here. What's up? Huh, there's no level. Nice. Oh, you're not gonna fight these guys? Perfect! You sure about that? Around we go. Perfect. Now, you sure about okay, that? Okay, that's getting kind of annoying. <laughs> I appreciate the free goodies, but her saying that for everything is a bit annoying. Okay, going this way. Nice. Okay. Let's do a quick upgrade here. Alright, Princess has Yep. Go. Go. Oh, I feel like there was a better one I wanted him to do. Effort. That was it. Man, very all of these. Got a high cost behind it. Cool. Combat skill upgrades. Go. Okay. 
good stuff going there. Okay. Now we're into the real stuff. I say as we clear everything with ease. But save point, save it up. What is this? Some kind of monster grave? Look out! What the flippin' A is that? We can win this! Oops! Ugh! Of experience. Holy moly is right. I can live with this. The power. Awesome. Nice. That was close. I didn't think we were gonna be attacked like that. Looks like a dead end. This must be the place they call the door to another world. I don't see anything resembling a door though. Creepy and Weepy are telling me that they don't sense anything resembling a door nearby. Isn't this just a regular old graveyard? A graveyard for giants and dragons, or a sacred place for monsters to live. This couldn't have just happened, right? Are you saying you think somebody deliberately built this? You can make something like this even if you had a hundred symbologists. It'd be impossible unless you were a god. I don't know if anyone in this world is that powerful though. You'd have to be a god to pull this off. A god? It's certainly a mystery, either way. Deal with it. It, it. it just sounds like what you put on a sandwich. Can't wait to put me some deal with my chicken sandwich. Perfect! Now we'll get to see Keith in person. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. I think we're good. All right, let's go show this to Bowman. That, that, so, uh, that's it, huh? That's the whole thing? That's actually kind of, oh, I guess disappointing, because it's really cool looking. And that, there's just, that's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, okay, ooh, we have some limited time actions to take care of here. Ayo? Well, we got a private action, one on the curve, so let's go check that out. Private action mode. Hey, what's up, Flood? Look out below! Oh no, that's Praces. What? Ah! Wow, that's all fun. Oh, that's not Praces. Who is that? What 
is your problem? Can't you watch where you're going? Wait a minute, I recognize this voice actress. This is Welsh. What? Her Welsh? I. Welsh? I'm sorry. Welsh? I. I yep. was gonna make a perfect graceful landing too until you screwed it all up those dead eyes man But why were you falling from the sky in the first place? What better way to have a first encounter how romantic, huh? Uh, she hit her head Pretty sure. A beautiful young girl falls from the sky. A dashing young man picks her up in his arms. Uh, huh. She's literally bl <laughs> She's blushing over this. And here I've wound up crashing into a girl instead. Oh, my best laid plans. Oh. I'm geez. sorry, but I can certainly empathize with you. I love dreaming about fateful encounters like that. I used to dream about meeting the Hero of Light. They say he's a brave man who came from another world. Um. Oh, you do know! You know exactly what I mean. A fateful encounter. Oh, it sounds so beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. Of course, the Hero of Light that showed up wasn't exactly like the one I imagined. What? You actually ran into this Hero of Light guy? Yes, I did. I was under attack by monsters, and he happened to be there and dispatched them with his Sword of Light. But he wasn't really the Hero of Light. I just thought he was, that's all. Aww. Wait a minute. You don't have feelings for him, do you? Oof! No, I mean, it's not like I feel that way for Claude or anything. <laughs> Dropped it. Oh, so his name's Claude. Hmm. The hey, wait. Hades. I told you, it's nothing like that. I'm not sure. So, what's your name? I actually didn't think to look. Raina. Raina Lanford. Hmm. I'm Welch Vineyard. Okay, it's settled then. I'm coming with you. Welch Vineyard. Yep. Huh? You seem like you'd be kind of fun to tail for a bit. Besides, this is my first time here, so I'm all lonely and vulnerable and stuff. Man, she's it sounds like things. that Claude guy is a lot of trouble for you. He doesn't understand a girl's feelings at all. Somebody needs to teach him, and I think I'll go give him a lesson he'll never forget. Well, yeah, he's dense, and maybe he's a little childish, <laughs> but we aren't what you think, okay? <laughs> wow, Raina. He's dense, and he's a little childish, but we aren't what you think. Thank you for the dream cat. <laughs> oh, there you go again. Besides, we're in the middle of a journey to get to the bottom of the sorcery globe. Okay, so I'll just go with you then. You can't come along with us. It's a seriously dangerous journey we're on right now. I can't get you involved. Neither I'm in danger or deep. I may not look it, yeah, but right. I'm a creator, you know. I can take care of myself in a fight. Creator? To put it another way, I'm a girl who can do pretty much anything. We already have like three of those. But... Besides, I told you I want to help you, Reyna. I can even give you advice if you're having relationship problems, you know? That's making me all the more anxious. Hmm. Well, what's your reply? And she. Please enlighten me with your wisdom. 
Welch Senpai. <laughs> Miss Vineyard, please, I need all the advice I can get. You got it. And please, just call me Welch. Oh, sure. Now then, show me this Claude you're talking about. Oh boy. Hey! Wait a minute, Welch! <laughs> you messed up and said. <laughs> I guess we're just in the private action and she joins, I guess. Oh, are these guys selling things now? Can I do that? There we go. Honestly, nothing worth anything. Got the far cutter, so that's pretty cool. And nothing. Okay. About you. Okay, that's a plus. So we can buy one of those. And that's it. That's fine though. That'll work. And Magical Girl Shop, what do you get? You actually have... Oh my! You have whips! One whip, please! Uh, can I do guild missions with you guys now? No, I'm not gonna. Damn. Ooh! And that book of yours we published got great reviews. Here's your royalty check. Holy moly, let's go! Rolling in the money. 127,000 full. Woo! Do you, wait, hold on. Do you have the thing, the thing that is like the most expensive thing ever? Cause if you do, I might buy that thing. I do. 243 sold let's go bam we are broke but we have the most stonk item in the game now we officially have our rainy day fund um listen there's someone i'd like to introduce to all of you Welch Vineyard, nice to meet you. I love she just walks around with a giant pointing finger. My name's Claude C. Kenny. Good to meet you. So here's an interesting little tidbit for the audience here. Claude and Welch, I would think, actually know each other based on their connection with uh, the Federation, but I could be wrong. Voice Whoa! Really hey, good. Welch, wait a minute! Hmm, no, not the most exciting of men, is he? Oh, well. Oof! <laughs> I'm going to be traveling with the rest of you from now on, so if you need anything, just let me know. Now, come on! Let's whip this crew into shape! Hey, I just bought a whip. What are the odds? Whoa! 
I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> well, it says join the party. The Spitfire Creator. Oh, she be spitting all right. She just burned everybody down. Welch added to assault formation. Ooh. Challenge mission? Yes. Spend a total of 500,000 full? Yes. Alright, let's get you up to speed, shall we, Welch? So, let's start here. You have 200 SP. Okay. So what are the ones we need for this? We need uh, effort. Effort's good. So we'll start there. And we got 20 points. Uh, hold on. What was the one I was thinking of? Was it... No, not that one. Where are we at? Where are we at? The one that improves the amount you get with every level. She starts with a seven in danger radar? Jeez. Where are we at? Come on now. Tag, tag. We can't do that one yet. Oh, not enough for that one. There we go. Lowers SP needed for each skill. Bingo. We'll throw it into whistling. Okay, on that skill upgrades for everybody that can do them. Power burst there. Yep. Okay, uh, is, I think Welch is a physical fighter. I, I want to say. And if I'm wrong, well, that sucks. Oh, I forgot to even look, too. What is her um, level at? Fuzzy handy stick. <laughs> Ooh. Kind of liking that. And. Yeah, it recovers 20% HP and MP with each successive arm. Okay, ignoring that side effect, uh, I actually think that's a pretty good one. But what level, what level is she? She is 30. Oh dear. We'll have to definitely do some catching up for her. Okay, well, world map, we've got another private action, Liqueur City. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got several actually. I guess it makes sense that we got a new party member. Once you get as old as I am, your body doesn't quite work the way it used to. Can't even make it to the, the store without being tired. Oh, really? That must be difficult for you. If it wouldn't be too much of trouble to ask, would you mind doing a bit of shopping for me? Me? I don't want to bother you. Except your errand? Sure, I don't mind. 
Oh, it's all right. Sorry to trouble you like this. And in that case, would you be able to visit the Smith's source for me? It's an item shop here in town. Tell the clerk you're visiting on my account. He'll set you up. All right. What are you two talking about? Oh, Reyna, we were just talking about Claude's clothes, actually. His clothes? Right. Claude is dressed, shall we say, differently from us, wouldn't you say? We're just wondering where he bought his clothes from. Celine, are you really the one to judge on fashion sense right now? For real? For real, for real? <laughs> It is kind of strange, isn't it, Reyna? <laughs> Look who's talking. I'm gonna go with, I think he looks pretty cool. I don't want to be down on my party members. Oh, I think it's pretty cute myself. That was not the word. Oh, I think the exact opposite, actually. More to the point, don't you think it's rather too simple for him? Yeah, Claude really needs to dress a little flashier, I think. Hmm. He's going to be a hero. He needs to look it, you know? With legendary swords and armor and things. Wow. Nope. I don't know about that. That wouldn't go with Claude at all. Isn't he just fine the way he is? I agree. If he's going to dress like that, he'd probably look better in a skirt or something. Oh, that'd be nice, actually. But he'd just be perfect in a long skirt. Um. <laughs> hmm. Isn't he just fine the way he is? Indeed, we shouldn't try to force him to change. Well, that was certainly a conversation. Record the seal self. couldn't even hold up against a light breeze either. If this is the sort of stuff you're selling, you're either blind as a bat or you're purposely trying to rip off your customers. Ooh. Ooh. Look, lady, don't be silly here. This shop's produced a long line of armory contest champions, you know? Spitfire is right. With this junk? Look at this! A beautiful showpiece, a highly capable weapon, and at such a reasonable price. Oh, is that supposed to be a decoration? <laughs> I thought some dirt got on it or something. Jeez! Man down! Man down! This poor shopkeep is getting Then how about this? It's a little bit more costly, but it's razor sharp and superbly balanced. Even a weak little girl like you could wield it with ease. That sword's rusted around the hilt. It'll snap after two or three strikes. You know, I'm really regretting that I picked this guy for my shop now. I picked him for the sword because I didn't have it, but... Man, Welch is just, she's gonna put him out of business. Look, you're just here to heckle me and get in the way of my business, aren't you? What a rude thing to say. I'm just hoping Whoa. you'd stop selling this garbage if you still consider yourself to be an honest merchant. She is pissed. Wow. <laughs> I need to stop Welch or this ought to be fun. Hmm. You know what? That guy was calling me a sucker for joining his team earlier. This ought to be fun. No remorse. Are you insinuating that I'm dishonest? Huh. I'd like to see what you could make, lady. 
do it for the Supporting means. Supporting honest merchants is my duty, you know. Whoa, wait, are you from the Merchants Guild? Well, you could say I'm a representative. Well, you're just dunking on him. I'll be damned. I had no idea you were so uh, high up. I'm going to turn over a new leaf from now on, okay? I'd appreciate it if you could keep today's little encounter a uh, secret. Ah, oh, yes, in the middle of a busy Ooh, street. I like a guy who knows how things work around here. No, not at all. I don't know a thing compared to you. No doubt about that. <laughs> Wow, you've sure got guts, Welch. Can I? Wow, holy crap. 50,000 full receipt under the table. <laughs> you know what, Welch? You're my lady, I gotta say. I'm glad to give you like the maximum contraband stuff. <laughs> That's fucking great. That's freaking great. Uh, let's see. New private action. We got over here. Is this a shop I need to talk to? Hello. Excuse me, I'm here on behalf of the old woman who shops here. Huh? Do you know the old woman who lives in the edge of town? She said you would know what I'm talking about. Ah, yes, yes, you're talking about old lady Moore. Boy, I haven't seen her send anybody here in a while. Aaron the Gold. Stop. There we go. Man, the fact that Wealth just destroyed that man. Ah, oh, you've done it. Thank you so much. Not at all. It was nothing, really. Can't help but imagine how nice it would be if I had a granddaughter like you. <laughs> well, thank you very much, ma'am. Oh, right, right. I need to repay you. Please, take this. It's my gift. Star ruby and a rainbow diamond. Wow, that's expensive stuff. Oh, I really can take these. It's alright, it's alright. I don't think they'll see it much use around this place, anyway. Treasure is a funny thing, you know? It's not the kind of thing that's meant to be hoarded by one person. Just go to waste if you do that. Thank you so much for helping out an old woman. It warms my heart. Uh, man, your legs? They're fit as a fiddle. The doctor said so. I just got pranked. But I also made a lot of money off of it, so... I'm not mad, I guess. Lots of fun interactions in the city on that one. I'm glad I came back here. You know, system-wise, it's one of the biggest improvements they made for this port, for this version, was showing you the timeliness of events. Because in the original version of the game, you would just outright miss these events. Because you wouldn't know that you're, like, on a timer. Alright, so we've got a bunch of things here. We've got... Salva has a sub-event, okay. Let's go back to Salva. Masa, hey. What's going on? Oh, it's you. Riddle the Traveler. I'm afraid I'm a bit lost. How do I get to Harley from here? Hmm. So we're in Salva, Harley, uh, one sec, hold up, I gotta, I gotta look at my map, Harley is gonna be north, okay, cool, go north, young riddle, or riddle, I think that was all for now, right? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're trying to send this guy over, basically. Cross City. And there's a private action here. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be... Oh, that's not... It is Ashton and Welch. Oh, this is going to be good. And a puppy. Oh, Reyna! Just when I needed you. Oh? Ashton and his dragons just learned a new trick. Oh, no. A trick? Here, watch for yourself. <laughs> Um, I don't know about this. Are you trying to say our trick isn't worth watching? She's so hyper-aggressive. Fine. I love to see it. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> I'll watch it, okay? So don't get mad. Super. <sighs> <laughs> what are you sighing about, Ashton? Come on, creepy and weepy, get moving. <laughs> Anna one, Anna two, Anna. My name is Ashton. <laughs> Warrior of the twin dragons. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> weepy. <laughs> And me, me and my dragon pals, me and my dragon <laughs> pals. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> well, how was it? Pretty catchy, isn't it? Uh, sure. We'll perform this act at the public square and make all kinds of money. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. What have I done? What have I encouraged? Welch must be stopped. This is insanity. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. So Linga is saying it has a limited time sub event, but Mars is also saying that. Me? I don't know. You lost your way again. It's further east of here. Come on, buddy, you can do it. That thing with Ashton, that's that's almost scary. You went past it. Come on, bro. Again, I just can't seem, I can't seem to just get to Harley after all. How did you get here in the first place? Okay, my boat, of course. Well, to get to Harley, you just need to travel by boat again. Oh, of course, how stupid of me. Hey, welcome in, Vicar. Well, hello there, Lurk of Volcan Chores done. Awesome! Thank you so much for the Lurk! Hope I can provide some fun background noise while you're getting your stuff done. Okay, did he finally make it to Harley? Oh, 
I hope. Please. Okay, so... Some of it, but I can't go there again. It's really getting strange with that. Alright, let's save after the weird shenanigans of Ruddle the Eternally Lost. And let's go talk to Keith here, if we can. Okay. The professor is busy at the moment. What am I missing? That it says that there's a sub event here, limited time. And it's in his home, but I can't. There's something really weird with that. Hold on. I want to do a very fast Google search because there's something that's not adding up for me on that. Uh, okay. Limited sub event Keith Star Ocean. I'm trying to see, did I just like miss something or what? Um, is it really just a programming error? Okay, best I can judge is that it's just a, a odd glitch. Okay. <clears throat> a glitch that apparently has been in the game since the very beginning. From the original one. Ooh. A limited event earlier. Okay. Let me have a quick. I swear if our Harley guy ended up here. He ended up here, didn't he? Oh, hold on. Is it private action? Well, there is a private action I didn't even know about. Oh, it's Priestess. Or, er, not Priestess, Welch. Tell us a story, Welch. I want to hear a story from you. <clears throat> oh, hmm. Well, once there was a king who was in a bit of a bind. He ruled over a very cold land to the north, and lots of people froze to death every time winter rolled around. <clears throat> the king wanted to help his subjects, so he spent a great deal of time thinking about what to do. He knew that the lands to the south produced lots of food crops, more than enough to get his nation through the winters. <clears throat> Sorry. Thus, the king decided to send an army to invade his neighbor to the south. This is a horrible story. But there was a twist. In the southern country, there lived a woman who was once childhood friends with the king. The king once thought he would marry her someday, but gave up the thought so he could devote himself to his kingdom. So war broke out between the two countries with big losses for both sides. After the war was over, the king sent a letter to his childhood friend. 
but the devastating war that had taken place had created an enormous, near insurmountable barrier between the two. And so the girl never replied. The end. Being a king must be lonely. I feel bad for the girl. A king is the most powerful person in his nation, but he's also the loneliest. If you take things that aren't yours, I guess you'll wind up paying for it later. That's what he gets for starting a war like that. Indeed, it's pretty stupid of the king not to realize it's such, such a simple fact of life. That's the worst kid story ever. What the heck? Like, for real, what the heck? Kind of reminds me of the Eminem song. Hey kids, do you like violence? <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Who are you, little kid? Oh, it's Kettle. Hey, lady. Kettle, what are you doing here? Came here with my mom. Are you going to live here now? I don't know. Mom said she was looking for a place where we could live in peace. A uh, quick flashback to the audience. Kettle was with his mother when an entire town was hit by a tsunami and sank into the ocean. They, they were some of the few survivors from the incident. Oh. We must put a stop to whatever that's causing all this before it happens again. Right, especially if it means giving kids like Kettle a chance to grow up in a better world. Hmm. Wasn't it? Okay. Well, we've done the Bowman thing. That quest is bugged. So, here we go. Alright, Bowman. something back have you let's have a look here you go what do you think whoa what have you found it looks more like a bouncer than a pharmacist is it something useful i haven't seen anything like this except in dusty old textbooks where did you find this stuff Looks like we found world. a winner! Guys, this isn't a winner. It's a major scientific breakthrough. Is it major enough to get us a visit with the linguist? You've discovered a completely new family of medical herbs and that's all you care about? <laughs> you people are special, you know that? I gotta get you in touch with Keith right away. Here, let's go. I'm taking you to Keith's house. That's legitimately funny. Guy, guys, like I'll give him a challenge. There's no way they can be, they can get, proceeds to get the best thing ever. Doesn't know how to respond. <laughs> Resurrection Mist, that's a pretty good item. Alright. I was getting crowded with this party. We had a lot of people. Alright, looks like we have an ad break that's coming up again. Sorry for them being kind of close together. It's mainly because I snoozed the other one for the story earlier. So let's just do a little bit of buying and selling here. Primavera. Ooh. Okay. Sell multiple. Oh. 
Why is that too bad? Okay, we can get rid of these because these are awful. We have entire. Actually, you know what? We could probably upgrade those so we won't. Ganoli time! Indeed. Wait, wave clip plus. Kaleidoscope clip needed for firing radio wave bolts. Eh? What the? That's a thing? The handy stick. Oh, the holy armor. Oh yeah, and the weird armor. <laughs> Wait. Boots of happiness. Interesting. Kind of weird, but interesting. Huh. But <laughs> lame earrings. Nice. Good stuff. And we don't really need any new items, so we're good there. Okay, one sec here. Take a buy my cannoli. And we are back. Had a chance to snack on a cannoli real quick. Well, let's get back to the story. Keith must be a busy man. We got pushed out of the house the last time we visited. The last like eight times we visited. Hold on a second. Keith! Hey, Keith! Keith! You there? Keith! Keith! <laughs> Great. He's not here. What's all this racket? Sorry about that. It's me. It me. Oh, uh, Dr. Gene. Yeah, just call me Bowman. 
Is Keith in? Oh, yes. Just a moment. Please, come in. Hey, now we can come inside the house and not get shoved out. What do you mean, sounds like a euphemism? Snacking out cannoli. Really? That's kind of a stretch, don't you think? I mean, just because it has a cream filling, I mean, come on. Excuse me, sir. Heavens, did you bring the whole town with you, Bowman? <laughs> Hello, Keith. What happened to the friendly neighborhood linguist I used to know, huh? Turns out pretty technologious. What do you mean? <laughs> These people have been trying to talk with you, but they keep getting booted out. Well, I've been busy deciphering these books for the kingdom. They're looking for information on the sorcery globe, but this stuff's mostly useless. That's why I'm having my assistant chase the distractions away for the time being. So you think we're distractions? Oof. You didn't mean anything by it, guys. Just tell them what you want. Well, we'd like you to translate an ancient text we found deep in the heart of Cross Cave. From the Cross Cave? Seriously? Yes. Finding it was difficult enough, but it's just too old for us to make any sense of. Hmm. Well, sounds a bit more interesting than this government busy work, at least. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> Here it is. My goodness, we have a potentially monumental discovery. That took in three seconds. Wow. Really? Hmm. This resembles an ancient rabbinic hand I'm familiar with, but the script runs quite a bit differently. Do you think you can decipher it? Well, it's going to take me some time. Do you mind if I borrow this for a while? I'd like to have some time to concentrate on it. Certainly. Go ahead. Thank you very much. This is quite a surprise to find on my desk, I must say. I suppose I ought to thank you too, Bowman. Yeah, your assistant would have made you get this a month later. <laughs> you actually thanked me. We're probably going to see pigs fly before long. Everybody laughing it up. Alright, it is nighttime abruptly at Jean's house. Ooh, new missions. Wow, we're actually almost done with the missions for beginner level. Wow. Money! Wow, am I tired? I just want to go and hit the sack. It's so weird staying here when my home's just around the corner. This is kind of weird. Why, why, why are you doing that? Let's talk it out, y'all. So glad we got him to decode our scroll. We got someone to decode the scroll for us, and even get to stay the night here. Lucky us! Please, make yourselves at home. Imagine that! A historic discovery. Right. That'll work. Hmm. 
Well, I'm glad that worked out. Keith was just about beside himself. We really appreciate your help. Thanks again. Oh, it's fine. What about you guys, though? You're heading off for the L continent, right? We sure are. Indeed. Investigating the sorcery globe could get pretty hairy. You're aware of that, right? We'll be all right. I've got Claude with me. Oh, that confidence. I like it. I gotta admit, I'm a little worried about you. Huh? If you made me pick one or the other, I've got a lot more confidence in you right now, Reyna. Claude has fallen hard for you. I'm worried he'll let his emotions get the best of him. No. What? Claude? Nah. What? You're telling me you've never even noticed? Man, this sure ain't boding well for you guys, is it? The narrator says, it sure isn't. <laughs> Listen up, folks. I don't want you risking your necks on this journey, okay? Let's make sure we all get home in one piece. Absolutely. We're dealing with people's lives here. Of course. I doubt I have much to worry about with this group you've got here. Reyna, I want you to keep a close eye on Claude. I have a feeling he's going to try something crazy sooner or later. <laughs> um, sure. What? Why me? Forget about it. You wouldn't notice the warning signs anyway. Wait, what? Well, I'd say it's time we head for L. <laughs> we'll need to ask the King of Liqueur to send out a ship for us. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to stock up on supplies. To paraphrase Bowman, you two are adorable, but God, you two are thick as uh, thick as dirt, or thick as uh, stone. Neither one somehow noticing. <laughs> Sounds good. Getting back home in one piece is the best souvenir we can give to our families. So safety first, folks. Are you actually coming with me, Bovin? No disagreement here. We'll be back. You're not. You're just talking like you are. I see. Okay. Save it up. All right, how are we looking? So we gotta go to liqueur for main scenario. Okay. Fast travel on over here. You people are evacuating to liqueur, right? Evacuating? What? Sheesh, didn't you hear the news? Monsters destroyed the L Kingdom. Their hordes are marching for Lacor as we speak. Uh-oh. What? I'm sure we'll slaughter them once they reach the front line base. Until then, the area north of Lacor is going to be a battlefield. That's why we're evacuating everyone into the castle. Oh, wow. Really? Then let us fight them too. You have any idea what you're saying? You'll just drag us down. We need you inside Lacor Castle. Now go on. Well, that's uh, a very, very large story ship there. Oh no. So I'm getting the feeling that we're about to hit something super major. So I'm actually going to go ahead and call the stream here. We're going to find somebody to go raid and spread good vibes to. Uh, just a quick recap of our stream. First of all, I'm glad it worked. 
Secondly, sorry for the problems in the beginning. Thirdly, thank you very much to Salamonsky, my good friend, and Catherine Cypher, another good friend, for giving me raids today. You guys are amazing if you're still here. If not, that's fine. And thank you very much for everybody coming in. And thank you so much for the follows and just the, the attention in the chat, you know? You guys are amazing. And over on YouTube, thank you so much for joining me and, and watching along. I know the chat is kind of quiet there, but every hour helps because I am trying to get partner. And thank you so much for being there for it. You guys are amazing. I need to learn how to do YouTube raids. I'll be honest, I don't know how. But on the Twitch side, at least, we can do some raids. So let's see who we get. First of all, oh god, this music is... Ooh. This music is kind of scary to listen to, actually. We're definitely about to hit a major turning point next stream. And also, speaking of next stream, we'll be doing 3 p.m. tomorrow. And we'll be back to Celeste, where we try to conquer the core. And see how that goes. Let's see. Who shall we raid? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's read Eddie. We haven't we haven't talked to her in a little bit here. Eddie Tori, who's doing a game called Poppy Talk, which I've actually heard a lot of good things about. So real quick, if you all don't mind showing some support and enthusiasm for everybody, we got our raid message, the Fried Nabot train. And let us go read Eddie and say hello. Once again, this has been Angela Frydenrock. Thank you so much for being here, everybody, and every bit matters. And just a, one more thing, we are five followers from 200. I'll be honest, I don't even know what I'm gonna do for it, but I wanna think hard about it and try to burst my brain. I will tweet once I come up with something cool for it. <laughs> but in the meantime, thank y'all so much for being here on YouTube and on Twitch. And we're gonna go say hi to Eddie and I will see you tomorrow. And if I don't see you tomorrow, make sure you take care of yourselves and have a good week, all right? See you later. Bye-bye.